However, in the past couple of months to a year, I feel like the gears have finally begun to turn again for games. The gears have finally begun to turn again for games. Turn again for games. Hello gamers, gaming is saved. That's right gamers, I'm back. And with me, I bring the return of good video games every single month. That is right, it is all me, I, I did it. I'm, I'm the messiah of <laughs> video gaming. Now, I don't know how many of you watched my uh, State of Gaming 2023, but I made a, a, a bold prediction that, you know, video games were on the upswing, that that developers were finally, finally, well, AAA developers, for the most part, were finally putting effort and, and, and giving us good products. They finally figured it out. They finally figured out that if they make good stuff, people will buy it. Isn't that is crazy, man? Now, more specifically, I was talking about, like, Elden, games like Elden Ring and Baldur's Gate 3, how... They've sh just shaken up the gaming industry completely. And AAA developers, they, they are crying. They're like, These games, the unrealistic expectation, budgetary constraints. <laughs> oh, what happened to creativity crybabies? Okay, I was just joking then. But for real, like, game developers, when those games came out, or like more specifically Baldur's Gate because of how, just how much there is, how much content there is in that game. They were saying, well, people can't expect to, uh, like every game developer to put the same amount of content in their games. It's just impossible. Well, you don't have to. The, the point is you don't have to. You just have to make something good. You have to put passion behind it, put heart behind it. People will play the game if it's good. It doesn't have, to, it doesn't matter how much content is in it. It just has to be good. That is the baseline. And I feel like people are finally, uh, well, people, the like triple A developers, they're finally getting it. They're finally understanding because, like, seriously, look what has come out in this year alone. We got, like, Tekken 8, Yakuza Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. We got Enshrouded. We got Helldivers 2, which I am going to touch on later on because that game is... that That is literally the game changer of this year. It is crazy. And, yeah, I mean, we've had some stinkers this year, obviously. <laughs> Suicide Squad. I'm the Joker, baby! <laughs> but, like... They, they, they get fully railed on now. Like, games like that, they, they have no place now. Which is perfect. This is, this is literally the golden scenario that we live in. We live in, like, maybe not the golden age of games, but this, this has been, this has to be the closest thing we have to, like, a silver age. This is, it's just ridiculous. And then we got games coming up. We got, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. We got Rise of the Ronin. We got Elden Ring DLC, which, I mean, my game of the year goes to that alone. Like, I'm sorry, Dragon's Dogma 2, but you cannot beat anything Elden Ring. I, I'm i glazing that game until I die. Now, let's um touch back on Helldivers 2, like I said before. It's live service model. Every live service model game from now on needs to just copy it because Helldivers 2, it's like live service. It's battle pass pretty sure it's called war bond in the game it is phenomenal it the system is so good behind it because it is so free to play friendly if you want you could get everything free to play you it would just you would have to grind more obviously but i mean the game is so good that that's not even like an issue like they, they it is like oh I'm so, I, I just got no words i could glaze that game for days on and days it is such a big deal. Like, it is my hope that Helldivers 2 gets remembered for its ingenuity with this system, with how to, like, market itself, with how to just do the live service model and do it right, do it do it in such a good way that people never complain about it. Like, obviously, there might be some people being like, <laughs> but those people, like, they would probably play Fortnite and have fun. I don't understand how they can do that. And this is not even the end of it, okay? 
Like, we have, next year alone, for me personally, we have the big three, alright? Next year. We have new Monster Hunter game. Monster Hunter Wilds looks, <laughs> pun intended, a bit wild, guys. I know I'm the funniest man alive. And then we've got Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, and I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, and that game just looks, it just looks so good, and I'm sure it'll play good as well, I mean, I hope it plays good, fingers crossed it plays good, please, I don't want another Jump Force, and then there, we have the big one, Grand Theft Auto 6, this game is going to absolutely shake the industry like nothing else has ever done, it is like, okay, Rockstar, I think the company itself, uh, overall pretty scummy, they do a lot of stupid stuff, but, I mean, credit where credit's due, when they release a game, they release a game, like, it is redonkulous what they do, and this, this game, GTA 6, is going to mark the beginning of so many new things, every open world game afterwards, or at least every open world game that has a modern setting is going to try its best to completely just copy basically GTA 6 and then and then just think of the amount of like new careers even that this single game is going to start the amount of like new YouTubers the new Twitch streamers new kick streamers and just I, I guess TikTokers I don't know <laughs> But, like, just that alone, just, just, like, this game is, it's, sounds cringe, but it is more than just a game. This is, like, an event that is going to happen, and nothing will be the same afterwards. Like, it is going to actually just shake up everything. I don't know if you guys could tell throughout this entire video, but I am just so excited for the future of games i'm i'm excited for the future of entertainment like i can't wait to just sit down and enjoy all of these maybe make some reviews on them but like i you can best believe that i'm going to sit down and enjoy these to the fullest it is going to be j quite frankly a bit of a hoot a bit of hollow <laughs> that's gay oh but yep i am i'm fucking excited and hope you guys are too see ya